Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Mathematics in the Modern World subject. So I am your instructor for two months. I hope uh, everyone is doing well. All right. So let's uh, discuss first chapter one. So we have... Nature of Mathematics. So we have here lesson one, the patterns and numbers in nature and the world. So let's start with the patterns. What can you say about patterns? That's right. So you have pattern are those regular, repeated, or recurring forms or designs. Or it is a repeated form or... Design, especially that is used to decorate something. All right, so let's have here an example. So you have example number one. As you can see, we have the first picture. So you have here a smiley. The second one, we have uh, still an emoji, but uh, naked hat. You know? The third one, we have um, what is that? Nikilig. All right. Next, nibalik na po ang smiley. Dayon, we have the kid hat ni emoji. Next, we have also um, kilig emoji. So my question is, what is the next emoticons or emoji? That's correct. Okay. So, ang smiley, this one. All right. Now, so, by that, you know the pattern that the first uh, term or the picture dapat smiley, the second will be the kid hat, and the third will be the killing emoji. Okay? So that, that means always um, next to the killing emoji will be the smiley. All right? We have here another example, number two. What is the next figure in the pattern below? Okay, try to observe the pattern below. So we have that. Uh, there's a horizontal line in the upper of the box. The second, there are already two lines. Uh, Left-hand side is a box. Next. All right. Okay. Okay. So what will, the, what will be the next figure? So we have here a choices. We have letter A and letter B. What is your answer? Is it A or is it B? What is your answer? Letter? That's correct. Letter B. Why is it letter B? Because as you can see, the box increasing one line, okay? So from the first box, there, there are only one line, second, two, three, four. So that means in the fourth box, there are already five lines, which, are, which is the sizes uh, decreasing, okay? And the, um, what they called it one? Uh, the direction or the lines are located in the upper button of the box. So the correct answer here is letter B. Okay? Let's have example number three. So what is the next figure in the given pattern? Again, observe the given figures. So we have that. Next, a triangle. All right. So what will be the next figure? So you have here choices letter A and letter B. Try to observe. What is your answer? Letter B? All right. It's letter A. Okay. So the answer is letter A. Why? Because so, um, as you observe the uh, figure, the first figure is a square having... 
an inner square shaded by a block. And the second one, we have a triangle uh, without shade. And the, the inner part, ha? Huh? And the third, uh, a diamond. And with a shaded part in the inner diamond. So the pattern is alternate shaded, not shade, not shade. And so that means the next figure is any figure that the figure in the inner part does not have a shade. So the answer is letter A. Okay. So you have another example, number four. So you have these numbers. So what numbers comes, what number comes next in 15913? What is your answer? It's number? Correct. Number 17. Why? Because if we are going to find the difference of each term, saan man? By simply subtracting the first, I mean the second term minus the first term, uh, dayon, uh, third term minus the second term, and so on and so forth. Okay, and after that, we will add the difference to get the next term. So we have uh, 5 minus 1, that is 4. 9 minus 5, that is 4. 13 minus 9 is still 4. So our difference is 4. So we need to add 4 in number 13 to get the next term. So we get 17. Okay? So we have um, example number. Sorry. So we have example number 5. Okay, so nakita naman ang answer na. Alright, so why is it that 36? Why is it that 36? Okay, same process. We need to subtract um, 9 minus 4, so that is 5. 16 minus 9, that is 7. 25 minus 16 is 9. As we observe, the difference is increasing by 2. Alright? So 5, 7, 9. That means we will add 2 from the difference of 25 and 16 to get the next term. So therefore, we need to add 11. Kay 9 plus 2, that is 11 plus 25. That will be our next term. So we have this 36. Okay? Next. So we are now in lesson two, the Fibonacci sequence. What do you mean by that? Let's define first what is a sequence. So a sequence is an ordered list of numbers called terms. In the previous examples, uh, again, the number is called the terms that may have repeated values. Okay. We have here an uh, example. Okay. So analyze the given sequence for its rule and identify the next three terms. So you have letter A and letter B. Try to analyze. Okay, I'll give you a minute. Okay? So your time starts now. All right. Do you have your answers already? Okay. So let me present to you my solution. Okay. So you have this. All right. So, okay. All right. So to those who answered 10,000, 100,000, and 1 million, those answers are correct. Why is it, sir? Because as you observe, the numbers is multiplied by 10 or by simply using an exponent just like what I did. Okay? So as you can see, uh, 
uh, I am using an exponential number. Okay, so you have 10 raised to the power of 0. And the answer is 1 because any number raised to the power of 0, it's always 1. And uh, I am adding 1 on the exponent to get the next term. So you have that. Okay, 10, 0 plus 1, so that becomes 10 to the power of 1. So 10 to the power of 1, that is 10. So you have that. 100, that is equal to 10 to the power of 2. So that is 10, 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Next, 10 to the power of 3. So you have 10 cubed. 10 times 10 times 10, that is equal to 1,000. To get the next three terms, just simply add 1 to the exponent and so on and so forth. Or you can simply just multiply the previous number by 10 to get the next term. Okay? Tanawa. 1 times 10, we get 10. What? 10 times 10, we get 100. 100 times 10, we get 1,000. 1,000 times 10, we get 10,000. 10,000 times 10, we get 100,000. And the last, we have 100,000 times 10, we get 1 million. All right? So you have your solution for number two, or that's letter B. Okay? So as you observe, the difference is 5 minus 2 is 3. 9 minus 5 is 4. 14 minus 9 is 5. 20 minus 14 is 6. The difference is what? Increasing by 1. Okay? So, uh, so we will add 1 to the difference of 14 and 20. That is 6 plus 1 before we will add 20 for that certain difference. Okay, so we have 20 plus, that becomes what? 7. So we have that. 20 plus 7 is equal to 27. For the next term, we will add the difference of, uh, we'll add the difference, which is the 7 by 1, for the, to get the next term. So we have this, 8 na. 27 plus 8 is equal to 35. And 35 plus 9, 9 na because uh, the difference is, Increasing by 1. So you have 35 plus 9 is equal to 44. Therefore, the next three terms of this given sequence is 27, 35, and 44. I hope um, uh, the solution are clear and um, understandable. No? Okay. So for now, let's move to the Fibonacci sequence. So it is a special kind of sequence. Or it is a series of numbers where a number is the addition of the last two numbers. Meaning, to get the next term, we will just add the previous two numbers. Example, try to look at example. Find the next three terms. So we have that. Okay. So if we are going to add 0 plus 1, we will get 1 here. Can you see that? All right. Next, if we're going to add 1 plus 1, we get 2. Next, 1 plus 2, we get 3. 2 plus 3, we get 5. 3 plus 5, we will get 8. 5 plus 8, we'll get 13. 8 plus 13, we'll get 21. 21 plus 13, we will get how much? Or what is the number? It's 55. That's right. Okay, that's 55. And so we have the solution and how to get the next three terms. So we have that. And so we have here, again, we will need, just need to um, add the next, the previous two numbers to get the next term. So we have that. 21 plus 34, that is equal to 55. After 55, we just need to add 55 plus 34, we will get 89. 89 plus 55 is equal to 144. Are we clear? Are we clear? That's good. So therefore, the next three terms of this given Fibonacci sequence is 55, 89, and 144. Okay? So thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something today.
Thank you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something today. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.